Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering with me, you lad. We are starting off this week by going back to Theros Beyond Death and we are trying out a deck that was recommended to me while I was playing um, in my stream. This is a mono blue devotion combo deck. It's a self it's a self mill deck, I guess you could call it. So, the important parts here are Thassa, Deep Dwelling. Uh, we have Agent of Treachery, which is... It's it's not a must for this combo, but it's a really good one. Cavalier of Gales is also really, really good. Um, we have some Nyx Lotus, because we will get an insane amount of devotion. And then we have Tassa's Oracle, which is kind of one of the most important cards. So, what will be happening is Tassa... At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under your control. Now this means that every time we uh, we end our turn, Tassa is going to send up one of our send away one of our creatures. So, for example, if we have an agent of treachery out, we send it away into exile, and then it comes back immediately after, and we get to gain control of another target permanent because. The opponent doesn't get their permanent back just because the Agent of Treachery leaves. So we, we can literally steal every permanent that the uh, opponent has. We also have Cavalier of Gales, which is basically us, we can keep sending it back to just draw a crap ton of cards. Um, and then we have Tassa's Oracle, which is basically our win condition. And if we cannot kill the opponent, we, we draw so many cards that we actually, like... Um, go almost run out and then we play a Tassa's Oracle to uh, win the game by having less cards than our devotion. That is that is how this works. Now this requires a lot of mana. We have Gadwick because Gadwick is kind of one of the important parts if we want to mill ourselves. So what we what we basically do we um, um, we have the Nyx Lotus out, right? So, this is an artifact. This is very important. This is a legendary artifact. So, we play out the Lix Notice, tap it once for a crap ton of mana, like 10 devotion. Crap ton of mana. Then we play a Corridor Monitor, tap it again for a crap ton of mana. Then we have like 20 mana. We play Gadwick, with like his axe being all our mana. Hopefully, or maybe not all our mana, I think we save 2 mana. After that, hopefully, we draw another Corridor Monitor. Then we can tap Nyx Lotus again and just get a crap ton of mana again. And that is kind of how it goes. And that is how we will run out of cards in our deck. Now, um, there are some other like kind of flavors to this. And I don't have the proper cards. I am missing some. I should have one more Cavalier of Gales and one more Dream Eater and remove two Agent of Treachery. Agent of Treachery isn't really one of the main tricks with this deck. The deck is more about Gadwick drawing all your cards immediately. But, since I don't have the Cavalier of Gales or the Dream Eaters, I was like, well, might as well add Agents of Treachery, because they are really good with Tassa. But, uh, I've talked a crap ton. Let's get straight into it immediately. Um, let's go. I'm actually very, like, I played a couple of games with this deck and it's so annoying. Like, it is really annoying. If you get Tassa out and you, like, get any of these combos start rolling, like, it is... It is just frustrating as hell to play against. Ooh, that's a lot of Nyx Lotuses. I kind of don't like that. They cost four mana to play as well, so we don't really have what we need here. Need to mulligan that. This is okay. Um... Let's send away the Agent of Treachery, I think. Now, Kiora is here because these two, with Tassa, will just draw a crap ton of cards, basically, every time the Cavalier Gale enters the battlefield. As it should be doing, like, several times. Now, this is actually a deck that is made for best of three, so um, it might be a little bit different. Oh, crap. It stole my Oracle. Fucking dick. Mm, we could send it back with the Brazen Burrower. Yeah, I think we'll do that, actually. I know this is haste, but that, like, at least stops him one more turn. Like, either he'll have to play this out again, 
or he have he gets to play something that is better or a bit more like late game so to say dawn of hope it's one of those so this is a mono white or well not mono white it's a um, it's a boros aggro deck probably just going with dawn of hope that so you can create soldiers this is actually like super important when you are playing against control decks kind of like the one that i'm playing um you have to have some way of creating tokens because i could just keep making crap ton of stuff and that would actually like screw him over quite badly boom let's destroy that I definitely want to destroy that try to remove as much red mana as possible from him So that hopefully he runs out at some point. Now the Brazen Burrower cannot block, so we might as well just go face. We just need one more land though, then we can do the Cavalier of Gales, which will help us obviously defensively, plus we get to draw a crap ton of cards. So that's really, really good. Worst case scenario, if we don't pull a land, I might play Gadwick just for that like one land. Is this an enchantment deck? Hmm. This is starting to get a little bit annoying, I gotta say. Is that good? Might just do Gadwick and just do one devotion. Or one um, one X rather. We got an island. That was what kinda what we needed. Um, but not the best solution, let's be honest. We can kill the Robbers of the Rich now, though. So that's nice. Oh, he's gonna Prison Realm Gadwick. I feel like that's okay. Because if we get the Cavalier of Gales out now and then Tassa, we can start uh, hopefully juggling also the Agent of Treachery to start just stealing stuff. We are getting kind of low though on health, which is a bit of a problem. Okay. Yeah, let's definitely do Cavalier of Gales here. Boom, we draw cards. We throw one away. Probably the Omen. Um, or well, we don't throw them away. We just put them to the top of our library. There we go. Kiora, you can go there. Face. The thing is, like damage-wise, we're still kind of even. So, outlaws and merriment. Well, I'm gonna steal that. That's mine. Here we go. Boom. Let's attack with the Cavalier of Gales. The reason being, we're still go we're just going to send it back to our hand anyway. Um, boom. There we go. Or send it back and then out again. There we go. Can we throw away more Kioras or throw them to the top, rather. Now, I don't think he can kill me here. Let's and do he doesn't have any flyers, so we're gonna win next turn. What's that smell? Oh, oh, we got a Death and Clarion. Burning. Doesn't matter. He doesn't really have any land. Like, he got really land-starved. Um, but he was really close. If he would have gotten something that could kill a flyer, he would have survived. But uh, luckily he didn't. So let's just attack with both of these to the face. Boom. There we go. Oh, crit. crap, these guys have reach. I forgot about that. Oh well. Um, that is actually kind of fine. Do we want to... Nah, this is fine. This is an okay trade for us, obviously, because when he doesn't have any rogues, um, this is actually, like, kind of great. There we go. I think we play Gadwick here. We also play him for, let's see, five... Three? I think that should be the perfect amount. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. 
and we'll return this dude and put it down there like what what kind of surprises me the most about this deck i guess is that we do not actually have any sort of thing that like um We don't have anything really that allows us to um, We don't have anything that allows us to like have an infinite la hand size. That is kind of what surprises no me. Fire can't solve. Another outlaw's merriment. I think he's screwed at this point. Like he doesn't have anything with reach anymore. Um so Cavalier of Gales can just go through it. Um could also steal this Chandra with our Agent of Treachery next turn. Which is actually kind of hilarious because he's been building her up. So I think that is definitely the choice here. Because we can't really deal any damage, so to speak. Um, but what we can do, we can do this. Agent of Treachery. Boom. Steal over him there. Rather, I should have tapped one of these guys. Boom, there we go. Uh, let's attack with the Cavalier of Gale. Then we get to return this. And put it back again. Boom. And I guess we'll steal an... We'll steal... Uh, you? No, you. There we go. Like, this is definitely a win. I don't think he can nuke us. I'm not expecting him to have that kind of burn. Um, maybe he could get rid of the Cavalier of Gales. But even if he did, we can just steal back, like, take the Prison Realm, if he played a Prison Realm. Okay. We are just going to do that. Let's see here. Like, he can pay two mana to draw land, or draw a card, rather. But what can he actually play? Like, he could, as we mentioned, he could have a Prison Realm. Um, but I don't think so. I don't think he would be drawing cards if he had a Prison Realm. Ooh, Rubber of the Rich. Would you look at that? Um, that is interesting. Uh, does it matter? No, not really. Let's send it back. Then we can tap something. Boom. There we go. And then we go next. And we have... We could have actually... I just realized we could have just used Chandra to nuke him down. I think we should have done that. That would have been very flashy. But um, that was okay as well. I... I really like this deck. Ain't gonna lie, this deck feels really good to play. So uh, let's do another game. Like, we definitely have time for one more game, right? Morning Star of Light. Well, that is a name and a half. I think, like, I really, like, okay, I really enjoy playing this deck. I'm not gonna lie, it's, oh, sh I should have, I, uh, I had two ways, like, I shouldn't have kept this. If you want to see other misplays like this, remember to subscribe and hit that bell. I just needed to do that classic YouTube stuff, but, um, Healer's Hawk. Like, this looks really bad. We aren't pulling any land. And that feels really, really bad. Let's just send it back, because I'm afraid he has a... Um, I'm assuming he has a, um, a Janus Pride Mate. So he could be planning on playing that. Child of Night. Well, that's crap. This is actually really bad. We'll play the Corridor Monitor for now. I wanted to save it for the Lix Notus, but... Nyx... Nyx Lotus. Um, but... Um, can't really do that, sadly. Ah, crap. Like, this is really bad. Send back the bird again. Take it back. Let's take the bird back, okay? Morning Star of Light, stop. I think he's playing, like, just a crap ton of lifelink, maybe? Ooh, there we go. Bloodthirsty Aerialist. 
Here we go. Is he going to swing with Child of Night, though? That is the real question. Here we go. Oh, or not. Or not. Really? Kinda have to, sadly. Are you for real? Fucking hell, game. Fucking hell, magic. Like, our two next cards was islands. Ah, crap. Fuck. Well, this feels bad. The thing is, like, why this feels really freaking bad as well is because we... Like, if we... Well, it wouldn't have mattered. Like, he's, we still would have gotten this attack through. So, it really didn't matter in that sort of way, but... It feels bad to just throw the land down. Um, onto the ground. And I threw it on the ground. This feels okay, though. We need to be a little bit more defensive. But we need more land. We need one more land, at least, to get the Lix Notice out. Nyx Lotus. God damn it. Ah, God damn it, Otokaya. We need a way to handle that 4-5. Because that is, like, literally the death of us. Because this is gonna... Yeah, there we go. That's kind of what I was expecting. Boom. We are... We, let's be honest, this is a lost game. Let's concede this. We can do one more. I think we have time for that. Yeah. Yeah, we got time for that. So one more with our blue... Um, Tesla's Oracle deck. I think... Like, I, I kept a bad hand there. That is That was definitely the problem. I should have mulliganed for at least three or four land. I, like, that is kind of a late game deck as well. So you definitely want... Um, you definitely want more land than that. Like, this is okay. Three land. We have an Omen of the Sea. We also have a Brazen Burrower. Oh god, is this an... Oh no, it's an... Oh. I, was, <laughs> I was like, oh crap, this is an aggro deck. Oh shit. Then we can do Castle Ventress, uh, Omen of the Sea, do that kind of stuff, draw some cards, scry a little bit. Okay, this is actually good. He is a like he is a red green deck that hasn't played a single creature yet, so we're in we're in luck. Let's see here. Field of Ruin could be spicy. Let's keep it for now. Like, having at least five five land, I feel like, is kind of important for us. Um, we might as well, right? Its devotion is nice, but I don't think we'd really need it. And I'd rather scry to know what I'm getting. I don't think we want any oracles right now. Let's put them both on the bottom. And um, let's hope that we pull something else. Maybe one oracle would have been nice, actually. Okay, this is, I think, the play here. Or is it? I don't think it might not be, actually. There we go. Us having two Nyx Lotus is actually kind of bad, because they are legendary. Um, but it could be worse, I would say. I'm very, very glad that I did not play the um, Brazen Burwer as just like a creature. Because now we're going to send you back. Boom. There we go. Get out of here. Play you to get some devotion going. Um, this is actually kind of great. We do need to get Thassa, I feel like. That is kind of an important part right now. But we're doing well. We can still, like, if he plays this again... God damn it. Well, now we can't play the Sunder Shaman, at least. Uh. This costs one mana, so we could actually do that. 
I think Lotus Field might be the choice here right now. No, Cavalier or Glades actually, or Gales rather. It's definitely the play first, then we Lotus Field. Sacrifice two islands. Crap ton of stuff. Um, that is actually kind of bad, but you know what? That's life. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. End that turn. What I feel like, like, we need to start drawing cards. That is my main concern right now. We definitely need to start drawing more cards. At least it didn't get hex, like, or haste, rather. Like, I'm kind of surprised by, like, why isn't he playing Sundershaman? Because that would actually like fucking ruin my next load as well. That is that like that would be great for him to actually do. Um, let's do this though. Sacrifice the field of ruin. Um, get rid of stomping grounds. Boom. Just because we can, because this limits his green mana, so that's good. He could play another forest though, but. Mm. We could send this back, but is it worth it? Like, what do we gain from sending it back? Or do we play the Tuss's Oracle here? I kind of want to keep this just in case I get that, like, card draw mechanic rolling, but I don't think so. Like, Tuss's Oracle feels good right now because we need to have a look at our cards. We need a Tussa, basically. Edit of Treachery could be really good here. I actually think that is definitely what we should choose. Um, this is fine. No attackers. I don't think we need that. Um, what we could do, though, we could send this back into his hand. I actually think that is maybe a good idea. Just forcing him to replay stuff. That That is giving us more turns to react to stuff. Um, I could play the Brazen Burrow as well for some more devotion on the Nyx Lotus. Like, the, that Nyx Lotus is getting big. I'm not gonna lie. It's a big one. So next turn we can get the Agent of Treachery out. Hopefully he plays the Sunder Shaman, actually. Then we can actually steal that. That would be the preferred thing. Oh no, this is actually really bad. We actually lost our Agent of Treachery, which kind of sucked. We'll get Tess Tassa next turn, but man, that Agent of Treachery would have been really nice to have. Um, we can block this. That's fine. This. this is like three devotion right now. Not that much. We're gonna play the Lotus Field, I think. Boom. Might as well. Oh, we should have definitely attacked with this actually. Tap that. Okay, okay, it says X proof, so it's now just a 2 2. That is actually okay for us, I feel like. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. Really? Of all the things. Put them on the top, I guess. 
Oh wait, I can actually scry them. I can actually put them on the bottom, right? Hmm. Oh well. Let's... Can we scry? We, we cannot, rather. Sorry. Now we can. Scry that crap. Uh, I think we want to throw away our corridor monitors right now. Because they are not the best. Boom, boom, boom. Let's throw away like that. I mean, doesn't really matter. Like, we c we can, though, like, use the Castle Ventress to try and, like, put them in the bottom. Um, still not the best, though. We definitely need an Agent of Treachery here. I feel like that is... Like, if we get that, he can't really do much. We're just gonna steal everything that he has at that point. We do have way more mana than it looks, which is nice. We're gonna steal that mammoth if we get an Agent of Treachery. God fucking damn it. Put that there. Let's use you to scry. Throw you to the bottom. Um, play another island. I think then we want to play a corridor monitor. Boom. Let's play Cure as well. The reason why I want to play Kiora here by a Kraken before. is, um, oh my god, wait, can I do this? The ocean surges, life thrives. This is like literally disgusting. There we go, take it back, play it out. Boom, we draw a card. Altasa. We are not pulling what we need, I can tell you that much. Let's do this, tap you. Boom, let's do this, tap you. <laughs> I do love that we can just tap everything. It is, like, so annoying. Like, now he can attack with the 3-3. Three, three. This is great. Like, <laughs> this is actually disgusting. Oh my god. God damn it, Tasso. Um, let's play another Castle Ventress. Um, let's do a Scry. What do we have? Show me! Ooh, an Ages of Treachery. This is actually great. Now, do we have a way to actually draw that? I don't think so, which kind of sucks. Do we? Will this work? Yes. This might work. This might actually work. There we go. It worked. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. Because this is super important. We need to keep that Nyx Lotus alive. So, uh... Let's steal the Thunder Shaman, or maybe the Aggressive Mammoth. Like, we do have a lot of blockers. We can actually steal both, I realized. So it doesn't really matter. Um, there we go. Boom. Can actually, like, untap this. I think we attack with just one Cavalier of Gale. Of Gale. Oh, ooh, can't even talk. Like, I'm, I'm just talking so much crap. Um, let's see here. Untap this. So we have the 8-8. Eight, eight. Nature flows Boom. with vigor. Send back the Agent of Treachery. <laughs> We're gonna take more of your stuff. Like, this is so disgusting. This is such a disgusting combo. Oh my god. Like, if I would... Like, I face this, and it is horrible. So every turn, I'm just gonna take something of this. And, like, the worst part that you kind of don't realize is that I can literally take his land as well. But usually, like, right now, I want to take his creatures 
because other than that, it doesn't really matter. Is he going to kill the Age of Treachery? Well, I say it's too late. Like, he doesn't have any anything with reach, so we can just attack with Cavalier of Gales next turn and kill him. So it doesn't really matter. This is actually fine. GG. God damn, that deck is fun. Like, that is funny. That is hilarious. Okay. Let's... Let's just... Um, we're just gonna finish there. Let's just open this pack while I'm talking some crap. But man, I, I do like playing that deck. It is a... Like, this is a net deck. deck. I didn't make this myself. Um, as I said before, um, it was recommended to me by uh, one, one of the watchers. One of you guys. One of the viewers. Um, I, um, I do hope you like the deck, though. I think it's super fun to play. It is really, really funny to play. Like, it is so frustrating, but it is hilarious. But yeah, if um, you did enjoy it, remember to like the video. Also, comment down below if you have any other suggestions of things that you want me to play, or um, if you just have thoughts on the deck that I play in general. Remember to subscribe, hit that bell for some more Magic the Gathering content. I've been you, lad. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.